Okay, here we are at stage six. And now that the top U face is yellow, it's time to position the yellow corners correctly. First things first, we need to take a look at the corners of the cube on the top layer and twist the top U face until at least two corners are in the right location. The corners are indicated by A, B, C, D on page eight of the solution guide. If you have four corners in the correct position, you get to move on, or in this case, fast forward to the second step of stage six. If you only have two corners, keep in mind the corners can be on the same side or diagonal, but there have to be two corners in the correct position. How about you guys? Do you have the correct corners? I have two corners in the correct position. Very good. I also have two corners, but they're diagonal. That's OK. How do you know if they're in the correct position, though? Because the three colors on the corner pieces match the center pieces on each side. Well, there you go. Good job, you guys. Now that we've identified the corners in the correct position, the first step is to hold the cube in the correct position. If you have the correct corners on the same side, then hold the cube so the two correct corners are on the back B face in the A, B corner positions. Now, to switch corners C and D into their correct corner positions, we follow the move sequence R, I, F, R, I, B, B, R, F, I, R, I, B, B, R, R, U, I. If you need to switch the diagonal corners, then do the same move sequence R, I, F, R, I, B, B, R, F, I, R, I, B, B, R, R, U, I. Do this once. Then hold the cube so the two correct corners are on the back B face. And do the sequence again. R, I, F, R, I, B, B, R, F, I, R, I, B, B, R, R, U, I. Now, all four corners should be in the correct positions. Congratulations, you've done it. Now, we have one more step to go. But before we take our next step, if your cube doesn't look like this, simply go back to the beginning and go through the stages again. One of the more common mistakes is moving the cube around in your hand when making the moves. So remember, you're rotating the faces, not the cube. Go ahead, start over. You'll be amazed at what you'll learn along the way. We'll meet you on the second step of stage six. We're so close now that we really want to pay attention so we don't have to start over. Now that the yellow cross is completed and the yellow corners are in the correct position, the second step of stage six is to solve the yellow edge pieces. Your cube could have one of two situations. Either you have one edge piece in the correct position and three edge pieces that are incorrect, or you have all four edge pieces in the wrong position. And what situation do you guys have? I have one edge piece that's correct. I have all four edge pieces that are incorrect. OK, that's good. And I have one edge piece that's correct. So let's solve both situations. First, let's solve the one with all four edge pieces that are incorrect, because we need to have one edge piece in the correct position eventually. So to do this, we need to follow either one of the sequential moves in the solution guide. Since it doesn't matter which sequence we use when there are four incorrect edge pieces, we'll do the first one in the solution guide, which is the one that moves the edge pieces in a clockwise position if you're looking at the cube from the top U face. It's F, F, U, L, R, I, F, F, L, I, R, U, F, F. Now we have one edge piece in the correct position. If one edge piece is correct and three edge pieces are incorrect, then we need to hold the cube so the face with the correct edge piece is on the back B face. Once we do this, we have to determine in what direction the other three edge pieces need to move. 
One way to do this is by looking at the edge piece on the front F face and see if it needs to move to the left or to the right face. If the edge piece needs to move to the left L face, then it needs to move in a clockwise direction or the first sequence in the solution guide. If it needs to move to the right R face, then it's a counterclockwise direction or the second sequence in the solution guide. So let's do our final move to solve the Rubik's Cube. To cycle the edge pieces E, F, G in a clockwise direction, then do F, F, U, L, R, I, F, F, L, I, R, U, F, F. To cycle the edge pieces E, F, G in a counterclockwise direction, do F, F, U, I, L, R, I, F, F, L, I, R, U, I, F, F. Congratulations, if you have a solved Rubik's Cube, you have unlocked the secret. Go ahead, jump around, celebrate, high five you guys. Great job. Let me see, ah, oh, looking good baby. Now let's do it again. If you can solve the Rubik's Cube, do it again because there's nothing like solving it without the solution guide, except showing others how to solve it. Now how did you feel when you solved it? I felt extremely proud and happy. I couldn't believe I did it. That's awesome. What about you? It was you? the best feeling in the world. People, people never believe me when I say I can solve it. So I practiced until I could do it without the guide. And now that you've solved the Rubik's Cube, try the multicolored cross or the square in the middle patterns in your solution guide. You can extend this experience by checking out the You Can Do the Rubik's Cube website at youcandothecube.com, where you can download solution guides to teach your friends, join the community, collect points, earn rewards, and share the experience with your friends and family. And remember, you, you can, can do, do the, the Rubik's, Rubik's Cube. Cube.